Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. In today's video, we are going to be looking at our first ever footies hero card, which was released, I think, two to three days back uh, as of now. Uh, it's none other than Paulo Footray. I don't know how you pronounce the second name. I'm pretty sure it's Footray, but yeah, uh, yeah. We were go we are gonna be looking at this card in today's video. We're gonna be looking at all his stats, his play styles, his attributes, all that good stuff, and then we'll put him in a game. Before that, we'll complete his SBC. This is an SBC card, so we'll complete this SBC, put him in a squad, and see how insane he is. I love this card just from the first glance. It looks so nice, but we'll see how it is. Whether these stats on card are true in game as well and yeah i'm excited for footy so hope you guys are hope you guys are doing well as well now if you guys have completed this already let me know how you guys found this card to be i am i am actually really excited so first off let us actually look at what you need to do to get this card you need to put in an 85 rated squad of the portugal player in and an 86 rated squad there's no team of the season in form and stuff like that. so that is really nice that is really nice really good really nice and then looking at the card itself five star skill move four star weak foot as you guys know i prefer five star weak foot and four star skill move even if skill move is zero i don't really care much because i don't know how to use them i am that much of a noob but high attacking and defensive work rate now high attacking and defensive work rate is insane high attacking work rate i get it but high defensive work rate really is nice to have you know and you can play him at cam and center midfield these are two insane positions and i think we are going to be using him as cam and testing him uh, testing him out we'll get to know how he'll be in center mid position as well now looking at the stats 96 pace 91 shooting 94 passing 96 dribbling 85 defense and 87 physical guys i'm telling you these stats look really nice shooting i mean shot for only 89 and long shots only 90 that is one place where i'm like how have they given this card 90 on shooting and that is not the place that i put in they put 99 penalties i mean we'll test it out we'll test it out but i'm a little bit like underwhelmed in the shot par area like only 87 shot par like even if we get full cam which we are gonna get he'll get like what plus three plus four boost over there if he gets one and then his pace is really good 98 acceleration 95 spin speed is really good passing is also really good he has 99 free kick accuracy 98 crossing 95 short pass 87 long shot only i mean long pass long pass and short par are the most underwhelming as of now for me i don't know why so less but okay he has 92 curve and dribbling he has 95 ball control 98 dribbling so usually for attackers for midfielders we are going we will usually test out the dribbling pace and shooting compulsory for center midfielders or midfield hole uh, that whole position we will test out their passing as well uh, so we'll do all these testing the first four stats we're going to test it out really really well passing pace shooting and dribbling will test everything out in this video and defending he has 79 interceptions which is actually not bad i mean it is what it is stand tackle 84 is okay i guess i mean you just have to put a leg in between so i am guess i'm happy with this he has 99 heading accuracy but 87 jumping okay he has 97 stamina now it uh the stats like like i said short par and long pass is uh, the only two stats are very very underwhelming for me but everything else looks really nice now play style he has four play style uh, pluses and he has a bunch of play styles he has like six play styles and four play style pluses he has finish short play style he has incisive pass plus and then he has sticky taka he has intercept he has flare first touch he has press pro win he has technical plus he has quick step plus and he has relentless so these are some of his play styles and then you guys saw the stats with me now let me just complete this spc and then i'll put him in the squad and show you guys what like overall plus he gets like he will get stat uh, boost stats and he'll I'll, I'll show you guys those stats okay i have added him to the squad let me just do one small change over here okay yeah, i've added him to the squad so these are his boosted stats like i said he will be getting some stats boost and he has plus four in short part 
so and plus four and long pass now now both have come to 91 91 sounds a bit better and even his defensive stats have increased a little bit but apart from that everything else looks really nice he gets 99 dribbling he gets 99 ball control he gets 99 agility so these are really good these look really good now we'll see actually actually how good is in game we're going to be testing out his pace we're going to be testing out his passing i mean short pass and uh long pass mostly and then we'll be testing out his uh shooting which is really important and dribbling guys so yeah let us go let us go should the chance come his or her way and field is the venue I'm your match commentator Derek Ray and sitting alongside me the former Arsenal West Ham and Coventry midfield player Stuart Robson. Long pass was a bit short you know and short pass was really good like short in a sense like it didn't go where we where I wanted it to go it went a bit like too close he has really good shooting guys he has really 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 decent shooting like it is good enough to an extent where you can try to score from outside the box as well like even when you see his corner position he takes that very aggressive position that was a good goal as well like like i said like shooting feels really nice and his attacking position is just too good like he is there aggressively standing in the box you can easily pass when you're taking corners right you can pass to somebody else and just look at his position when i went from uh, rafina i went out to garnacho i think and then putra is just there he's like literally just there and you can just pass and take that shot from that angle like it is really good pace also feels really nice passing short pass is really like short pass is good a long pass the 87 long pass is showing i mean was was, was long pass 87 no short pass was 87 right but short pass feels good long pass is kind of like you know it, it's just like not that very, uh, very accurate dribbling is dribbling is good now i am testing out the, all of these things in squad battles i will let you guys know how this will be in uh, rivals as well if you guys really want to know about that but i am playing i am always playing a 95 or a 96 rated squad uh, in world class so you guys will get to know how it actually is it doesn't matter if i'm playing in squad battles or if i'm testing out in rivals at the time i am recording my server everybody is asleep so i don't get matches on rivals that's one main reason i record in squad battles his dribbling is really good guys his dribbling his ball control is really good his shooting is amazing his the shooting is like i know the shooting stats were low the shot power was like 87 or something or uh, something like that shot power was very low but it feels really good after like putting him in the squad look at that from that distance i shot and it went and even from that weird angle i shot because of his 92 curve it went inside perfectly now it is gonna be literally the same in rivals it is not gonna make any difference now i don't play champs that much so i don't know like how the players are in champs whenever i play champs i get sweats and i get plastered and i'm already bad at the game and i feel bad about that so i don't play champs anymore so rivals is one thing that i usually play and then squad battles is it it's just like it is good the card is really good now is it worth an 85 and an 86 rated squad i would say it is i don't think it is like extremely worth it and i don't think it is bad I think it is really good. You guys, this card is going to be there for 61 days, guys. 61 days. Even if you don't complete this right now, if you don't get a better uh, center attacking midfield card, you can come back to this card. And by the time you come back to this card, you'll have a lot of players in your club which you can just sell out and be happy with. And by, by getting this player, that is one insane thing about this. 61 days you have you have 61 days to decide and the new game will be in, we, we would have started even playing the new game it will then still be there so i would say don't complete this right now wait wait it out i'm pretty sure you guys will be opening a bunch of packs for uh, footies because there are amazing players there in footies this is also a really good card um, I did this SBC mainly to test how the card is and to show you guys and tell you guys what it was all about. But wait out, 
and see what cards you get only team one is released in putties we have team two team three i think team four might come i am not not sure so we have two more team releases of footy so yeah wait it out see if you guys pack any any insane card there are a bunch of heroes as well i think at center attacking mid whose preferred position might be something else but their alternate position might be cam so see i'll see you guys in the next video i'm gonna end it here uh like i said the card is really good uh but it is i don't know if you guys would want to complete two different spot builds to complete this card the pace is really good shooting is shooting stats are low but once you use the correct uh what do you say chemistry style and then put him in the team he's gonna be really insane and then dribbling stats are amazing if you get 99 dribbling out of him 99 ball control out of him is gonna be insane guys what else is there passing stats short pass is really good long pass avoid doing long pass because the accuracy is not that great apart from that there's not much to tell, talk about this card i think that's i think that's that's pretty decent right so yeah i'll see you guys in another video tomorrow's video also will be a player review tomorrow is gonna be a dme player review so i'll see you guys in that video hope you guys have packed some insane footage so yeah take care stay safe stay motivated and give me a bye bye